Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding tasks count in the weekend and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called task with three different columns, task ID, assignee ID and submit date. Task ID is the primary key for this table. Each row in this table contains the ID of a task, the ID of an assignee and the submission date. We are asked to write a SQL query to report the number of tasks that were submitted during the weekend, that is Saturday and Sunday as weekend count and the number of tasks that were submitted during the working days as working odd, working count. The order of the result doesn't matter, right? Okay, so let's go through this example, right? So here we have different, so basically six different tasks and different assignees, and these are the submission dates, right? So basically what we need to do is how many of these tasks out of these six were submitted on a weekend, that is on Saturday or Sunday, and how many of them were submitted on a weekday, that is Monday through Friday, right? So if you see 13th June 2022 is a Monday, right? So basically what happens is that 13 June 2022 is a Monday. So this is a workday submission, right? So this is workday submission. This is workday submission. Uh, this is Wednesday. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, workday submission, right? So three on workdays. 18th is Saturday. 19th is Sunday. So three on weekend, right? So if you see the output is going to be the same, right? Weekend three, working three. So to develop solution to this problem, what we need to do is from this table, we need to identify, we need to try to identify the day of the week, right? Using this date, right? Because when, once we identify the day of the week, then we can say whether it is a weekend or a working day, right? So there is a function called day of week in MySQL, which basically throws you numbers from one to seven, where one is Sunday, two is Monday and so on and seven is Saturday, right? So what we can do is from this table, right? So from this table called task, then we need to return two different columns, right? Weekend count and working count. So what we can do is, okay, now we have discussed a number of times in our previous videos, how we can use the sum function to perform counts right when like we can employ the case when statements here that if a certain condition is satisfied you return one else you return zero and then you sum all those conditions right and you alias that add that as a weekend count or working count right so what i mean by that is let's say i want to know like how many of these dates belong to a weekend right so what is the first thing I will be doing that day of the week of the submit date is going to be either one or seven, right? Since one is Sunday and seven is Saturday, right? So if after performing the function day of week on submit date, I return one or seven, then if I return one else, if I return zero and sum all those ones, right? So basically I am going to get the number of tasks that was submitted on a day, which was a weekend, right? So what I mean by that, let me, you know, just write the query here so that, you know, it will be more clear to us. So return case when, right? Case when day of week of the submit date column is in right so if this is in one or seven right so one is sunday seven is saturday then you return one else you return zero since we started a case one statement we need to end this right and once we have ones and zeros then we sum this entire thing right we sum this entire thing and alias this as weekend count. So basically what is this going to do? So here it will see, okay. So here it will return two since this is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So two, three, four, right? Here it will return since this is a Saturday, it will return seven and this is Sunday. So it will return one in both these rows. 
So since this condition is satisfied for these three rows, it will return one here, right? So one, one, and one. And since this is not satisfied in above three rows, right? So it will return zero. Then it will sum the entire thing. That is zero plus zero plus zero plus one plus one plus one. So it will give three, right? And that is going to be in the column called weekend count. So if you see, if we just reverse this condition, right, then what we will be getting is the number of summations on working count. And how can we reverse this? Either we can write in two, three, four, five, six, or we can write not in, right? So again, same thing, right? So if I can just copy it here and paste this, right, because it is almost going to be the same. But it, if I just write not in 1 and 7, that is, since this returns only numbers from 1 to 7 and I write not in 1, 7, then obviously it is same as writing in 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? Then 1, L, 0 and just change the name of the alias. So working count, right? And we don't need to order by. So this looks good, right? Here again, what it will see? not in 1, 7, right? So here it will return 0, 0, 0, return 1, 1 and 1, sum this entire thing, it will return 3 and that will be in the column called working count. Okay, let me go ahead and run this to see what happens. Okay, so this is accepted, our output is same as expected output, let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases. So yeah, this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it. Again, even though it seems and it has been mentioned that it is a medium difficulty level, but if you see and if you know about a function and how you can, you know, use a function to determine whether a day is a weekend or a weekday, then this is very simple and all you had to know in this question was how you can use some statements or some function to create counts. Now, if we, if this does not make logic to you or if does not make sense to you, it like you can even proceed with more number of steps. So what you can do is you can employ the day of the week function and say like which day it was, right? And save it in a common table expression. Then you can add a fifth column using that common table expression that if the day was Saturday or Sunday, you write it as weekend. Otherwise, you write it as workday, right? And then you can save it in another common table expression. And then using that common table expression, you can see that, okay, the number of rows where you have weekday, that is going to be the sum of the number of working count and the number of days you have uh, weekends, right? That is going to be the number of uh, tasks that were submitted on weekend. Right. So you can do that. Let me know if you know any better way or a more efficient way of solving this question. Let me know in the comment section. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video.